Okay, so in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to record prepaid um, subscription income um, within the accounts. So uh, the scenario is that we have got a non-for-profit organization, there's members, they're probably paying in on a quarterly basis uh, for their membership fees, but um, as it's on a quarterly basis, some of uh, the most recent payments would have been for months that relate to the next period, the next year. So therefore, we need to do prepayments for that to make sure that only the income that relates to the particular year that they have paid for is included within the um, uh, um, accounts. So <clears throat> we've got here the subscription income account. We've got a prepaid income account that relates to subscriptions in advance. Um, and we've got a profit and loss account down here. So in the year, um, we can see that a total of a thousand pounds has been paid into the um, um, to, to, to the organisation. So that's their income, um, and this is directly from the cash book. Um, so all of the individual transactions transactions of members paying in. Um, to the organization would have happened in the cash book and those um, the the opposite side of the transaction is then recorded within the subscription income here um, now um, within this particular period we can see in year one so we're in year one here that the subscriptions that's been paid in advance of a hundred and 20 uh, pounds so we need to account for them if we recall subscriptions that uh, or uh, prepayments are um, um, items that reduces an income or expense account, in this case an income account. So we've got to reduce it by £120. And we're going to call this um, subscriptions in advance of £120. And because I do a debit here, I would need to do a credit here for £120 as well. So subscriptions in advance. This is obviously happening within um, this account here which is the prepaid income account so that is a liability account. It's a liability because our members have paid us for something they're going to enjoy in the future so we have an obligation to provide that service to them i.e. membership. Um, so um, that's effectively um, what has um, uh, what has happened here. So we have now recorded the prepayment. The last thing to do is to um, um, transfer however much that we have earned into the next period. Um, oh, sorry, to our profit and loss account. So how much uh, do we actually owe to the profit and loss account? Well, we owe. Um, the difference between the thousand pounds minus the 120, which is 880. So um, we're going to transfer the amount to the um, income and expense expenditure account. And don't call it when it's um, um, when it's for a non-for-profit organization we don't call it a profit and loss account we call it an income and expenditure account um, so that's a total of 880 as that removes the balance and that now means that we have got an income of 880 so that's the other side of the double entry here so subscription income That happens on the 31st of the 12th. So um, that's us having sorted out the um, um, uh, this year. Apart from that, um, when we move into the next period, and uh, we do that, we're gonna say here that it's on the 31st of 12th. Um, so 
uh, what we have yet to do is to bring this amount into um, the next period. So the prepaid income account, uh, we got a balance of 120. We now want to reverse this um, this transaction here so that we empty out the prepaid the, uh, account um, and bring the value into uh, our subscription account. Emptying out this account, uh, which is what effectively we're going to be doing, means that that would then be ready to be used for the next period. So it's like a working account. Um, and it will also have an impact of bringing this value into the next period, um, into the subscription account. Um, so let's reverse, reverse it. Um, we're going to do it on um, the 30, still on the 31st of December. So we're going to stick to, going to do this on the same day, i.e. after we have transferred the value into the um, uh, account uh, into the income and expenditure account. Um, so Going to call this uh, subscriptions in advance, and the same thing we're going to do here: subscription subs in advance, and it's for sorry, it needs to go on the other side. So subs in advance for 120, um, and we're going to keep it on the 31st of the 12th. So we're going to. Um, stick we, yeah we're going to bring the balance forward on the same day um of 120 pounds so what we have effectively done here is that uh, the balance um is now 120 um which effectively means that this account has been balanced off um and there's no there's basically no value in it, should, should stay there. So it, the balance is zero within our prepaid account. We brought it into here, and um, as when we look at our asset uh, clip, uh, clip uh, thing here, we can see that our income is on our credit side. So by bringing this value, so that's this item here, bringing this value um, into the next period, what we have effectively done is we have taken the 120 pound out of year one and put it into year two. You notice it's on the credit side with the income, so this will now account for an added income. So we have taken out the income from year one and we effectively put it into year two. Um, now, if you come into the next year, uh, let's imagine that in the next year, throughout this year, the, 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 this year two, we have now had incomes of uh, 540. So this is throughout the year 540. That's how much money we have um, been paid in for subscriptions. So now we are in year two. On the last day of year two, we've had our total of 540 pounds being paid in. But what we also have got is we have got a... Um, um, a uh, subscriptions or number of subscriptions that's been paid in advance to the tune of 144 pounds. So that's for year two down here. So again, exactly the same principle apply. We need to um, make a prepayment for this, um, and um, prepayments reduces the value of our income. So um, we are going to put it on the opposite side of our income side, which is the credit side. In this case, it's 144 pounds. So we're going to call that subscriptions in advance. Um, and we do a debit here, so we would need to do a credit over here as well. Um, 31st of December. <clears throat> a 
And that now means that effectively the balance of this account, before we reverse it, is going to be hundred and forty four pounds so so <clears throat> this entry here is um, effectively making this account smaller so um, if we then the last step we got into to do in this account here is to transfer the value into um, into the profit uh, and loss account in other words the income and expenditure statement um, so um, the difference between these two numbers are 516 so that needs to go into the income and expenditure account on the 31st the 12th so that we do that down here Five hundred and sixteen. So that's how much we've earned within this year. So notice this thing up here. The subscriptions in advance uh, was brought in from. So we in year two was brought in from the previous period. So that's what we got here. And you will notice that I made a point of within the book to have the same numbers because that's effectively within this account here. That's effectively what we got here. Within the same account, within year two, we have subscriptions in advance. So subscriptions we have brought in to the next period. And that is effectively um, the same item as we got here. I got a slightly different number, but that wasn't on purpose. Um, so that's effectively this item down here. And that's it. Um, so in this video, I've demonstrated how to record subscriptions paid in advance, uh, both um, bringing them in from the previous period but also um, moving um, them into the next period.